is out of bounds. Please be 100% honest and transparent about your symptoms. Because if you're not 100% honest, then we cannot correctly diagnose you here. And then we won't be able to give you the correct treatment. So please do be 100% honest and 100% open. This is a safe place for you to discuss exactly how you are feeling. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to make a few notes whilst you go ahead and tell me more about your symptoms. I'm still listening, so please just talk away. me a little but thank 
thank you again for being honest because we have to make sure with a condition like depression it is treated effectively. There's several types of depression. I'm not sure if you know the difference between each one, but your therapist will expand more on this in future sessions. But there is the major depressive disorder, which most people deal with out of the subtypes of depression. And it's often the most severe form, unfortunately. And it's characterized by a persistent feeling of sadness and that loss of interest that you did describe that you were facing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. It's, it's difficult to be honest about this. Um, that there are other conditions which possibly you may have. So there's bipolar. And yes, it has similar symptoms to depression. But there are periods where you do feel quite elated. So I do have to ask you, have there been any periods in the last six months where you have felt you have gone from depressed to elated in a very short space of time, often within the same day? No. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then the last one, which is somewhat common in the general population is what we like to call SAD. It stands for Seasonal Affective Disorder. It's a type of depression that typically occurs seasonally. So often in the winter months when there is less sun and there is less vitamin D. Vitamin D is a very important chemical actually a hormone. It works differently to other vitamins and when you don't get enough sunlight it can have an effect on your mood. So that's why I'm going to schedule you in for a vitamin D test as well as a general blood test because we need to make sure that your blood markers are all okay. Then we can rule out anything which may be physical causing these symptoms because not always is it a mental illness. Sometimes there are conditions which can trigger the symptoms of depression so we need to make sure we rule out any condition which could be influencing these symptoms. So of course depression can be caused by genetics and as I explained earlier there is often a genetic link. However there are several environmental factors I mean by environmental factors. Basically, environmental factors are any other factors that are not genetic. So this could be trauma that you faced during childhood or stress at work, perhaps. Is there anything that you can pinpoint in the last six months which could have triggered this? Okay. Yes. So it sounds like you've had a difficult time at work. Work stress is one of the leading causes of depression in adults. Have you talked to your employer about how you've been feeling recently? No, just me. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And is there any chance that you could speak to your employer about the way you've been feeling? Because that may help. especially with those that are in charge of their finances effectively. Um, what I'll do is, I will write you a medical sick note today, so you are able to leave knowing that if you do feel extremely low, you can have time off of work, and this will ensure that your symptoms won't get worse due to work stress, and we can act Target the symptoms whilst you are recovering. Now I'm just going to write some more notes.
as well as therapy and avoiding the triggers such as work stress. I'm also thinking about prescribing you a medication today which will help regulate your mood. Are you currently taking any other medications or supplements? Okay, yeah, a multivitamin shouldn't do any, shouldn't interact, no, they'll be fine. But I'm going to prescribe you an SSRI today and within one to two weeks you should feel a slight difference in your mood and from that point you should continue to feel more positive as the days progress. I'll get that timed up now. You'll be able to collect your prescription from Wednesday next week. There's been a little bit of a delay as there's been shortages in the supply of the medications. But don't worry, we are expecting an urgent delivery as I've been informed at 9am this morning. But in the meantime, I am referring you as explained to the therapist. And I have got you the sick note. And we have actively looked at your life and discovered that there are stresses in your life that you should be able to target. Now, there are some lifestyle changes that I would personally recommend. So eating a balanced diet can be very, very helpful. Often in the UK, we don't get enough of the fibres and enough of the vegetables and the fruits in our diets and these can all have an impact on our mental health. Certain vegetables, such as cruciferous vegetables, have been clinically proven to help with depression and anxiety. So I would recommend incorporating more vegetables and fruits into your diet. It's a simple change and sometimes it can have a noticeable impact. So, also I will print out everything that we've gone through today and you'll be able to take um, a copy with you so you can incorporate these changes into your life. Yes, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. There are helplines as well, such as the Samaritans. And if you do have any sort of suicidal ideation, please do call the Samaritans for help. Or 111, because it is of the utmost importance that when you are feeling that way, that we effectively get you urgent treatment. Otherwise, it can be, unfortunately, a deadly condition. And I'm also going to print you out some coping strategies, okay? So, the stress management techniques that you can incorporate into your daily life, such as deep breathing. So, just take a deep breath every time you feel stressed. Let's practice together. Take one breath in now. And take a deep breath out. Even I feel more relaxed there just doing that. Let's do it once more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. having 
general mindfulness and knowing it's okay to feel sad at times and have some self-compassion. If you don't have compassion for yourself, then it's very difficult to remedy any feelings of self-doubt. So I hope this session was helpful and I hope you feel going away from this session that you know that there are various treatment options. There's a medication, there's the stress techniques, there's the lifestyle changes, and then there's therapy. And together, incorporating all of these into your daily routine will have a significant impact on your mental health. But I do want to do a follow-up with you myself, as well as obviously referring you to the therapist. So I will book you in on a one-to-one -one session like this again within the next two weeks. Do you have any availability in the next two weeks? Mondays work for you. Perfect. Yes, I've actually got one more slot in my diary next Monday, so I will book you in and you should get an email confirmation landing shortly. And you'll also get a text reminder about your appointment two days prior. Please do stick to the appointment and make sure you come and see me again. I know it's difficult especially when you're facing motivational issues with depression. But it is important that we keep track of your progress and I need to monitor how you're doing on the medication. Please do keep a diary as well. It's sometimes that can be very therapeutic to just keep track of what you've incorporated into your daily routine and how that's made you feel and analysing any stresses in your life and 